How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's week 16 of 2023. A lot to talk about today. We have some confirmed cars for the next update, Series 20, the high performance update. Some updates, we've just got loads of stuff to talk about, so let's get straight into it. Quick update over on Twitter, there have been a few more identified issues, as you can see by the tweet here. Now, if you are having any issue with Horizon 5, the Forza Horizon 5 Known Issues page on the Forza Support website is a brilliant place to go, as this will list all of the ongoing known issues the game has that they are working on. So, if you have an issue, you're not sure if it's being worked on, you're not sure if it's known, this is the place to look. That is pretty much it for tweets, there's nothing there, we're going to jump straight to the Series 20 clues and confirmed car that we have. This month's Forza Monthly has been announced for April the 21st, as you can see here. Presumably the day we will find all about the next Horizon 5 update. Now what's the killer of all of this is the image that's in the background. If you didn't notice at first glance, this is the stadium in the Horizon 5 map. Now, if you remember on last month's Torben Tuesday, this was the image and we can see on the monitor there was something being in the works at the stadium. It looked like some kind of oval ring of some sort we can see here. Well, we're now seeing that we are getting whatever that is within the Series 20 high performance update. Now, there are a few things we can do looking at this image to figure things out. Now, we can see that this oval takes up pretty much the entire width of the stadium, which is to be expected as I don't think the stadium is that big, but we'll see what they've done with this track. But we can see that there are four cars on the track. Now, if we zoom in to these four cars, we can actually maybe identify them. The first one here, straight off the bat, I am pretty damn sure is the Hurricane STO. If you compare the colours, compare the size, it just looks exactly like the Hurricane STO. And some very keen watchers will remember a very few months ago we had a leaked drag update thanks to TGR55 where he found a load of leaked dialogue talking all about some kind of drag racing themed update and within that were talks of the Hurricane STO. So it seems like this is the update we are getting, the Hurricane STO, which is Series 20, which leads me to believe, are we getting the Drag Racing Horizon story within the update as well? That's certainly a possibility. The leaked dialogue for the story talks about the Hurricane STO, um, the Rimac Nevera, that was recently revealed as well. So it's, it's not guaranteed to come within this update, but the Hurricane STO is probably coming because i mean we can see it we can see it right there now as for the other three cars honestly i'm not sure what they are and i don't think anybody has nailed it just yet if you guys have any ideas make sure to throw them the second one here the white one i see a lot of resemblances to some kind of lexus you can see the black front grille it just looks very lexusy I'm sure you might see what I mean. As for the other two, they look rather small and look kind of like hatchbacks to me. Audi, I don't know. Again, nobody's really seems to have nailed these. It's just the colours of the Hurricane in the front that sort of give that one away. So I'm not going to make any guesses or, you know, I'm not going to tell you what these three are because I'm not really sure. But if you think you have an idea, pop it down in the comment section below. We can use the leaked car list as a guide as to judge what's coming the leaked car list is becoming more and more accurate over the time so if these three cars are anything it could very well damn be one of the cars on this list but i'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this video so far we do news videos like this every week covering everything so the cars out of the way the stadium itself is obviously getting the evolving world oval as we can see now this leaves the question are we getting any races added to the game within this oval it seems a bit weird that they would add this oval with all the crowd and all the lights but not have like a race that you can do there i'd be very surprised if that's not the case if we go to the high performance sort of splash screen it doesn't say anything about new um what's the word i'm looking for new races it does say returning pr stunts uh, but nothing about new PR stunts or new races, but I'm sure, I'm hoping there's some kind of event to do at this stadium oval. We haven't had a Torben Tuesday this month just yet as I'm recording this. It is Tuesday, so we might get a Torben Tuesday after I've recorded this, which would be very annoying. But if we go to last month's Torben Tuesday, obviously we had the stadium hinted at right there. 
which does mean there might be other things in this image about this update as well, not just the last one. So any missing pieces for this update, anything on this board that wasn't in series 19 might be in series 20. So that's just worth noting. We will find out in a few days what the high performance update is all about anyway. Now, there's one more thing to quickly talk about, and that is another tweet over on the Twitter page by, let me find it, the Forza support page, and it is the Forza Code of Conduct has been updated to provide more clarity and consistency in their policies. Now, I think this is quite a big thing because it's, it's been a thing for a while now where Playground Games and Forza have just seemed very random and inconsistent with who they ban, what they ban for, that, you know, it's just all a little, little bit messy. And I think them updating the code of conduct provides all players with clarity of what's right, what's wrong, etc, etc. Now, as players, we're going to be honest with each other. Nobody reads the code of conduct. Who cares about it? But I have a brief summary of the, the code of conduct and it's not actually that long. So I'm going to pop up the text on screen so you can see each category of banning and stuff like that. So if you want to take a quick read, you can. It's not that long. It's not like a terms of conditions or anything like that. And it genuinely is quite interesting to just quickly read through it. I did myself and I never read Code of Conducts. It's all on the Forza Support website, as you can see here. But let's quickly go through the things one by one. We have the driver's code basically telling you what not to do and what not to do in the very, very basic terms. Extreme violations and cheating, unapproved modding, you know, kind of the, the modding kind of scenery. You can see all the details of what you can and what you can't do here. On the same topic as violations, we have inappropriate user-generated content and unsportsmanlike conduct. Last but not least, in the violations category, we've got the communications. Information about the suspensions and banning was also included as well. And last but not least, appeals and reporting. If you ever have to appeal or report anything, these are the brief details. And here are more specific details on how to report certain people for certain things, whatever the category or whatever the issue that you are reporting is about. So that's it. That is the new Forza Code of Conduct. It's not too long, but if it's interesting to read if you are that into Forza games. So that is everything to talk about today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Leave a like if you have, and I'll see you all later.